Okay, here's uh, all the stuff I got today, uh, Sunday. Uh, this, everything you see here represents $29 in spending by me, and most of it I only paid $19 for. Uh, I got more stuff yesterday, but I didn't really show, shoot it because uh, it uh, snowed yesterday, and I couldn't shoot stuff in the snow. This table is actually all covered with snow. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go through it. Uh, nothing, uh, there's one thing that's, that's good. Uh, the rest of it's nothing exciting. Um, um, this is the one thing I got that will pay for everything. Um, for this box included, which uh, $10 I pay for this box. I'll show you what's in there in a bit. I only paid $6. That's at least 35 or so on eBay. Um, got some junk fish jewelry. Nothing special. Uh, chain uh, set. Uh, this is probably the most valuable piece and which is about $8 item. Uh, got a nice little paperweight. Um, not a special one, but pretty enough. Uh, decent size. I'll probably get anywhere from 5 to $12 for that. I uh, got some cables. These always come in handy. Got an Xbox, original Xbox cable. My friend's been asking me for one. I'm going to give that to him. Uh, this is GameCube uh, or Super Nintendo or N64. And I got this. These come in handy. Uh, <clears throat> here's something interesting. This is like a pewter box. Kind of beat up on the inside. But um, it's got like a divided green brush glass dish in it. I've never actually seen this containing something. I imagine it's, it's for jewelry or you put on your dress or something. Um, who knows? It's interesting. It's unusual. Uh, I'm sure it's not worth a fortune, but it's still a pretty neat find. And I only paid a dollar for that. Um, okay, I got some CDs. Nothing too special, but I got two big bags. Uh, they were three dollars to fill a bag. And in the bags, I put in all these books and uh, these CDs. So I got some music CDs. When I sell these, this is more than double pay for what, what I pay for the bags. And uh, then I got some, normally I don't really buy this stuff, I got like a, a bag full of computer software games, and these aren't really very special as you can see, um, but for the price, uh, $3 for everything, I think I'm going to give them to my friend, uh, I'm going to give them to my friend, he put it online, and I fish these out of it, I'm not sure if they have more value than normal ones, but it is a Pokemon computer game, another Pokemon computer game, another Pokemon computer game, another Pokemon computer game, those game sharks, these game sharks do well online, but I'm not so super really sure about this one. Um, Spider-Man seems interesting, and then we'll pay again for everything in the bag. I got this crash, it work. it's like I wanted to a neat polishing, but that's fine. Uh, if they work, I can probably get like five or so a piece for those games, even loose. Uh, and then and then also in the bags, the two bags I filled, I got some books, and as you can see, these are books I'll sell from like two to five dollars. Um, Rodin, famous artist, a Splendid Legacy, the Havemeyer Collection. This is a collection of artwork. Uh, country decorating, home landscaping, and uh, more landscaping. Oh, and uh, the last thing I'll show you, like I said, I paid 19 for everything, paid tw uh, 19 for everything that you see here. Uh, this box I paid ten dollars, so 29 for everything in total. Uh, and this box is filled with junk jewelry. You can see it, but it's like tons of earrings and stuff, uh, media cheap bracelets. You know, this is the kind of stuff uh, happily sell for fifty cents to a dollar all day. And uh, you know, here's a pink. I think they look like both. And uh, you know, for ten dollars, there's got to be hundreds of pieces in there. So we're talking for the ten dollars, anywhere from a hundred to two hundred dollars worth of stuff. And um, that pretty much covers everything I got today.